Hi everyone, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, we'll see how to hide the sidebar and create full width posts in WordPress. So let's get started. Now this is the dashboard of uh, my website and if I go to appearance themes, you can see I'm using the 2016 theme and uh, if I go to my website, here we can see the website and uh, here we have the sidebar. So what we want to do is we want to remove the sidebar from all the posts in WordPress. So if I go to this post over here, we can see we have the content of the post over here, but we also have this sidebar and this can be useful for many of you. But if you just want to have a full width blog post with no sidebar, then let's see how to do that in WordPress. Now you have to edit some uh, template files in WordPress to achieve this. So if you go to our dashboard and uh, we'll go to theme editor. Now you have to select the template file which is used when WordPress displays a post. So if you scroll down over here, we can see that the single.php file is the one that is used by WordPress when a single post is being displayed. So let's click on that. Now whenever you want to display a sidebar in WordPress, you have to write this function called get sidebar. So let's search for get sidebar in this file. So just press Ctrl F to search and we'll type get sidebar. And we can see a sidebar over here. If you press enter again, we can see we have one more sidebar. So two sidebars are being loaded on this page. So let's see which of these sidebars contain this data over here. So we'll just open widgets in a new tab. And here we can see we have the sidebar which contains search, recent posts, recent comments. And if we go to our post, we can see this is the sidebar that we see over there. And uh, this is the content bottom two sidebar. So we have to remove this sidebar from our single.php file. So let's just go to our dashboard and uh, here we'll just go ahead and uh, comment this line of code. If you want, you can also delete this, uh, but I'll just comment it out. Now, if you don't know how to comment in HTML, you have to just type less than exclamation and uh, hyphen hyphen and uh, you have to close the comment with hyphen hyphen greater than. Or if you want to use a shortcut, you can press Ctrl plus forward slash and it will add and remove comments to the code. So let's go ahead and update this file. And we can see the file is edited successfully. So let's go to our website and uh, we'll refresh our page. So here we see that the sidebar has been removed from our post. Now we have one problem over here that this content is not full width. So let's go to our uh, inspector tools. So if you're using Google Chrome, just right click over here and uh, click on inspect. If you're using Firefox, uh, you will have developer tools over there as well. So let's just resize this. Now we'll try to find the container of this content. So let's just go over here. This is the UL and uh, this is the entry content. If you go up and uh, if you select this, this is the content area and this is the site content. So we have to select the content area. So this is the content area and uh, we have to make changes over here. So if you take a look at the styles, we can see we have a width of 70% and we also have a margin right of minus 100%. So what we'll do is uh, we will remove the margin right and we will set it to zero and uh, we will remove the width and uh, we will set it to 100 percent so now we can see we have a full width content now we have to just add these two lines of css to our website so let's just copy this and we see that it is the content area so let's go to our uh, dashboard and here we are in the theme editor. You can go to style.css and add your styles over there as well. But we'll go to customize. And uh, here we have an option of additional CSS. So I will just click on that. And uh, here we will type 
dot content area and we'll paste our CSS over here now we can see that the sidebar has been removed from the front page as well so we have to be more specific in our CSS styling so let's go to our developer tools and if we scroll up we can see that in body we have different classes and uh, we can make use of these classes over here so we have this class called single and we also have this single post class so we can access these classes and be more specific in our CSS so let's just type single post before our content area and it will only select the content area inside the single post so before our content area we will type dot single hyphen post and now this will affect only the single post in our website now let's go ahead and publish this so our changes have been published so let's close this and uh, we'll go to our uh, website and we'll just refresh our page and uh, here we can see we have this full width content and we also don't have the sidebar and if we go to the front page we can see we have this sidebar over here so in this way you can remove a sidebar from a post in WordPress now if you want to remove sidebar from pages as well you just have to go to the theme editor and you have to select the appropriate template files over here so if you want to remove the sidebar from the search results page you just have to go to search.php file and remove the get sidebar code from there and uh, for the single page you have to go to page.php and we can see all the template files over here so this is how you remove sidebar from a WordPress post now if you are using a highly customizable theme then you may have the option of changing the layout of your theme to full width in the theme settings itself but for themes like this where you don't have any option you can go ahead and edit these template files so that's basically it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day